Welcome back to The Horror, The Horror with your hostess with mostest, Jenna, as always. Welcome back, as always. Uh, thanks for checking me out. So today what we are talking about is um, collections, basically, I guess, uh, like movie collections or, you know, whatever, um, you know, versus like streaming services. Because um, I don't know about you guys. Actually, I'm pretty sure... Uh, you guys probably, uh, like myself, have often gotten a lot of people asking or saying, like, why do you buy movies? Why do you buy DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff? Like, how many times can you watch a movie? Or, you know, what's the point when we have, like, Netflix and uh, Amazon Prime and all these other different uh, streaming services? Like, what's the point of buying movies? Like, you know, physical copies of movies in a few years are probably going to be completely obsolete. It's going to be a thing of the past, which I hope not. I really hope that we do not do away with physical copies of movies. Um, but we'll see. We'll see the day ever comes. And honestly, the reason why, a big reason why I collect movies is just because, you know, it's, it's something that I like to collect. Uh, secondly, especially now with, like, DVDs, especially Blu-rays and stuff, uh, we get a lot of, like, special features on movies, you know, like, commentary behind the scenes, um, exclusive um, interviews and stuff, making ofs type of uh, extras and everything. Plus, not only that, but we also get, um, you know, like, director's cuts, unrated cuts, uh, this type of cut, that type of cut, um, you know, so just, like, you get a lot of different things within these actual physical copies of movies that you can't really get or view on Netflix. Um, now, I, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing Netflix or any sort of, like, streaming services. I have quite a few streaming services, actually. Um, you know, I've got Netflix. I actually um, share an account with my sister with Netflix. I've got my Amazon Prime. I've got... Um, Shutter and Screenbox for, um, for just mainly strictly uh, horror movies. Those are only like horror movie type streaming services. Can I talk today again? Apparently not. Um, but you know, I love those. I you know, I get to see movies on there that I may never have heard of or have ever come across, such as like Southbound, uh, which you guys know I watched a couple of weeks ago. Um, even like ABCs of Death that I've heard of, but I was like, I don't know if I really want to pay the money to buy this. So it's a good way to, um, you know, kind of check out movies, sort of how um, uh, video stores were back in the day. We now have, like, digital uh, video stores, basically, from any device to be able to check out, like, new movies, movies we may not, you know, come across in the stores or anything. So I love those streaming services. I do. I mean, actually, as a matter of fact, a few days ago, I finally watched Terror Vision on Amazon Prime, actually. And I was like, oh, I'm like, great. I can finally watch it. Uh, I really love that movie, by the way. Um, and who knows? I might, you know, I enjoyed it enough where I'm like, ooh, you know, maybe I will actually, like, buy it or something. Who knows? Who knows? But, you know, it just... I just am so tired of people, like, you know, crapping on people for, you know, investing in movies and stuff. It's like, you know, like my mom, like I said, you know, she often is always like, why do you buy movies? Like, what's the point of buying movies? You know, like, how many times can you watch a movie? What's the point? You can, you know, watch it on Netflix. I'm like, no, mom, you can't find everything on Netflix. Like, I could probably tell you right now, probably at least two-thirds of movies that I have, probably even more, you probably can't find on Netflix right now or other streaming services. Or if you do, you're probably going to have to pay, like, three bucks to rent it. And it's like, I would rather not pay the three bucks to rent it. If I'm going to invest money, I would rather just buy the movie itself. Um, I'm just saying that's me. I know it's kind of, like, weird, but whatever. Um... But it's like, at the same time, it's like, I look at my mom, and she's a big reader. Like, I admire my mom for reading so much. I should be more of a reader. But I'm like, mom, mom, like, you buy books all the time. We literally, last summer, about this time, actually uh, brought, like, God, I would say, like, a good 10 boxes to half price books of books that she just had, that accumulated over the years. I'm like... 
that's the same thing. Like, you keep buying books, she continues to buy books. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not knocking it. But I'm like, you know, that's the same thing, Mom. Like, you're buying all these books. How many times can you reread a book? Same concept. So I'm like, but I don't hate on her for it. You know, I don't give her a hard time about it. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think, though? Like, do you think, you know that I'm totally crazy for building my collection. I feel like most of you guys are like, it's your movies. We all collect them. Um, but more importantly, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that physical copies of movies are going to be one day completely extinct? Or are we going to have like a new uh, format for them um, for collecting movies? And then we're all going to have to like reinvest our uh, money in upgrading our movies again. I don't know. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, you guys always know I love hearing from you guys. But till next time, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.